Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday so it is meal prep day. I have three fantastic recipes for you. We have breakfast, we have lunch, and we have a protein packed dessert that is a 10 out of 10 out of 10. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I do upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below. At the top, I will link my recipe website. That is where you will find all three of today's recipes and every other recipe I've created here on my channel. You'll also find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly, highly recommend. This is how I've lost and maintained my 140 pound weight loss, as well as new, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my other favorite things. And of course my Facebook group, come join us there. We would love to have you are all linked down below. So let's head on into the kitchen for this week's meal prep. So it is about 4.30 in the morning and I am gonna do a voiceover just because I didn't wanna wake my lovely husband. But for lunch this week, I am making in my slow cooker a honey garlic chicken. So let me show you what you'll need for the recipe. You can use chicken thighs or chicken breast, whatever your preference is. You'll need some soy sauce, tomato paste, rice, wine, vinegar, honey, minced garlic or fresh garlic, cornstarch and rice, quinoa, potatoes, whatever you would prefer to have as a side with your chicken. I'm using my slow cooker liners from Synthes. I actually got these off of Amazon. I'm obsessed with these. I love that they are folded individually, so they're very easy to get out of the box, and the quality is a 10 out of 10. They are such nice quality and much more affordable than any other slow cooker liner. They are very easy to use. You just unfold them, place them in your slow cooker, and they fit all slow cooker sizes from three to eight quart. So I have a pretty good size slow cooker. I really like these because they fit much better than any other brand. There's not a lot of excess material and it just makes cleaning up your slow cooker a lot easier. You can actually pick these up right off of Amazon. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about them later, but I'm going to add in all of my chicken. I am using chicken thighs and I'm using chicken breast. So I have a little bit of everything. I just took out what I had in the freezer and unthought it. Now we're gonna make up the marinade for the chicken. So I'm adding in some soy sauce. I'm going to also add in some honey and don't forget the entire recipe and directions is always on my recipe website. Two tablespoons of tomato paste and then I'm going to pop in one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar and a big ginormous heaping scoop of minced garlic. Stir that up really well. Make sure that tomato paste gets mixed in with the rest of the ingredients. And then we're going to pour this over our chicken. I did stir it up a little bit to make sure the chicken got really covered in the sauce. Pop on your lid and turn it on to low or high, whatever your preference. Five hours later. I just took the lid off of the chicken. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Look at it, just falls apart. So I'm going to smash it up or shred it up a little bit with my fork. I will say these crock pot liners are fantastic. It is solid, there is no holes. I have no leaking out of the liner, which is something I find a lot with especially like the Great Value brand or Kroger brand or Reynolds brand. These liners are very, very flexible. So when they get hot, they become flexible so they don't tear and rip. I am loving them. Then I went ahead and mixed up two tablespoons of cornstarch with some water to make a slurry. And I'm going to just stir that in with the chicken and all the juices in the crock pot and that's going to thicken it up. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop this out of my crock pot, simply pull out my Sintus crock pot liner, toss it away. I have a nice clean crock pot, love that for me. We'll get this packaged up and ready to go for the week. Here is our slow cooker honey garlic chicken. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. I was thinking you could even throw this in a low carb wrap and make a honey barbecue wrap. You could toss this on a salad. You can top rice or quinoa. You have it with a side of potatoes. There is endless possibilities with this. I can't wait to have this 
all week, super low calories, super low point, and packed with protein. So a little bit more about these slow cooker liners because you might be wondering what's the difference between these versus the ones that you can buy at the grocery store. The quality of these is way better. They actually fit sizes three to eight quart crock pots or slow cookers. So they fit all the different sizes of slow cookers. They're BPA free, they're food safe, and they just allow for really easy cleanup. They're also much more affordable and you can buy them right off of Amazon. I'll link it down below and right now there is a discount as well. So I'll put all that information down below. And the other feature I really like about them is they are folded individually in the box. So they're really easy to take out and use. A lot of the other liners, they're all folded together. So you have to be very strategic removing your liner. And these ones literally are all just folded individually and stacked in the box, making for less box for storage and much easier use. So I really like these. These have been my go-to slow cooker liners. And again, I'll link them down below right off of Amazon. And there is a discount currently on Amazon for these as well. For breakfast this week, I'm making blueberry biscuits. So these are kind of like a scone, more biscuit-like. I'm actually really excited about these. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need light butter, powdered sugar alternative. Of course, I'm using Lakanto. That is my go-to sugar alternative. This is their powdered version. I do have a 15% off discount for Lakanto site-wide. I'll link it down below for you. Light sour cream, this is my Lakanto granulated sweetener, all-purpose flour, baking powder, salt, a fresh lemon, fresh or frozen blueberries, and an egg. So to get started on the biscuits, you're going to need a large bowl. We're going to add two cups of all-purpose flour. This is five tablespoons of Lakanto granulated. We're going to add four tablespoons. So basically reserve a tablespoon or so in the bowl. A pinch of salt and then half of a teaspoon of baking powder. And then just give that a quick stir, just to incorporate all of your dry ingredients. Now we're going to add in all the rest of our ingredients, starting with one cup of light or fat-free sour cream, one egg, one full cup of blueberries. I didn't show you guys because you know I mean. I miss an ingredient sometimes, but you are going to need five tablespoons of milk and then the zest of one lemon. And then stir that all together until fully mixed. I do have my oven preheating to 400 degrees. Then we're going to scoop out our biscuits onto a parchment lined baking sheet. I'm going to just tap these just a tiny bit with the palm of my hand just to flatten them out a little bit. And then that one tablespoon of Lakanto we reserved, we're going to sprinkle that evenly right on top of the biscuits. And then these are going to go into our 400 degree oven for about 15 to 18 minutes or until the biscuit is baked completely through. Okay, so this is pretty funny. So I measured out my butter for the biscuits, put it in the fridge because the recipe called for the butter to be super, super cold. This is actually just the light butter, six tablespoons, and then I forgot all about it. So we don't have any butter in our biscuits. Now, I don't know if that's gonna affect anything, but you will need butter. The original <laughs> recipe calls for it. Of course, I'll have the recipe on my website. I thought that was pretty funny and a big, big faux pas, but hopefully the biscuits taste equally as delicious. So I went ahead and juiced that lemon that we zested in a small bowl. I'm going to add one cup of my Lakanto powdered and stir. So I am making a glaze to go on top of our blueberry biscuits. I do have some extra lemon juice here if I need it to get the right consistency. Be careful with liquids when you're trying to make a glaze. It's better to use less and then add as needed because if you get too much, then you have to add in more sugar, which is more points and calories. So that actually was the perfect amount of lemon juice. So here is what my glaze looks like. And I'm going to set that aside until our biscuits come out of the oven. So my blueberry biscuits are out of the oven and they are completely cool. These look so good. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for these. I'm going to go ahead and drizzle over that powdered sugar lemon juice glaze. Look at these. 
Oh my goodness, these look so incredibly delicious with that powdered sugar lemony glaze. You can see the little sugar crystals on those as well. Absolutely divine looking, definitely giving me scone vibes. My plan is to pair one of these with a source of protein, maybe some eggs, bacon, turkey sausage. We'll see what the week brings, but I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros per blueberry biscuit here on the screen for you. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making protein brownies. I have heard that these are the best brownies. You would never know there's protein in them. They're ooey, they're gooey, they're fudgy, and you're getting a pack of protein. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need all purpose flour, protein powder of your choice. I'm going to use Clean Simple Eats chocolate brownie batter. You guys know Clean Simple Eats is my all-time favorite protein powder. It bakes beautifully. It is really just perfection when it comes to protein. I will link Clean Simple Eats down below with a discount for you, but I'm going to use two packets or close to two packets of the chocolate brownie batter. I need one third cup, so it may end up being one. We're gonna weigh it out in a third cup. The slight butter that I pre-portioned out for my biscuits is coming in handy because we need some light butter. Baking powder, cocoa powder, vanilla extract. I'm using my Lakanto granulated as always. Don't forget, I'll link Lakanto down below with 15% off site wide. I have lots and lots of Lily's chocolate chips, some salt, and a couple of eggs. So to make our protein brownies, easy peasy, everything is going into one bowl. So I have a medium sized bowl here. I'm going to add my one cup of flour, two -thirds cup of my Lakanto granulated, one third cup of the Clean Simple Eats protein, which by the way was only one of those packets. So basically each packet has about a third of a cup of protein powder, two eggs, one third cup melted light butter, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, pinch of salt, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, and one teaspoon of baking powder. Go ahead and give that a mix and then we'll fold in 200 Lily's chocolate chips. We're going to add our mixture to a greased eight by eight, nine by nine, six by six, whatever size square brownie pan that you have. I will tell you this batter smells so good, like super, super chocolatey, like milk chocolate bar chocolatey. And then it's going into our 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. The protein brownies are out of the oven. Oh my goodness, these smell so good. I mean, incredibly good. They cooked pretty quickly. I actually had them in less than 20 minutes. That is going, of course, to depend on your oven. There are some zero sugar frostings out there. If you were interested in frosting them, you can make a homemade frosting using the Lakanto powdered sugar. There's a lot of options if you want to frost them, but I am so excited to have just a fudgy, gooey brownie all week packed with protein. joining me for another weekly meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I can't wait to enjoy them all week long. And don't forget to check out the description box for the slow cooker liners. Total game changer when it comes to liners. I appreciate that they don't break and I don't have any leakage, which like I said, I've never found from another crock pot or slow cooker liner. Absolutely love these. And again, you can pick them up right off of Amazon. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not. I'd love to have you here. And don't forget, come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, and it's a community that would love to have you be part of it. Thank you so much for watching, friends. Happy Monday, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.